Our markets are trend driven. You would have beaten Nifty 500 by 6 to 8 percent annually. Frequent rebalancing increases cost. Don't rely on a single look back window. You risk chasing the top too late. Momentum strategies in India. Most investors dream of finding the next multi-bagger. But here's a secret. You don't always need to predict the next hero. You can simply write the winners that the market itself is rewarding. That's the essence of momentum investing. It says stocks that are going up tend to keep going up at least for some time. And in India, momentum works beautifully because of how our markets behave. In theory, investor underreact to good news and overreact to bad news. In practice, in India, there are a few unique drivers. Number one is retail herding. Retail money chases winners. Think IPO rallies, PSU rallies. Second is FI and institutional flows. When FIs pour money into a stock, the trend sustains for months. Number three is sectoral themes. Entire sectors get re-rated at once. ID in 2021, Pharma in 2020, Defense in 2023. Information lag. Many investors act late. Fundamentals so prices tend to trend for longer. This makes momentum one of the most reliable quant strategies in India. Let's look at some real world results. Between 2010 to 2023, if you had bought the top 20% of Nifty 500 stocks, ranked by 12 months return and rebalanced quarterly, you would have beaten Nifty 500 by 6 to 8% annually. In the bull run of 2020 to 2021, a momentum portfolio of top 50 stocks delivered 60% return versus a 30% return on Nifty. NSE's Alpha 50 index, which is basically a momentum index, has outperformed Nifty 50 by a wide margin since launch. This isn't luck. It's a structural feature of Indian market. So how do you build a simple momentum strategy? Here is a basic framework. Choose a universe. Start with Nifty 500 stocks. Rank them. Calculate past 6 to 12 month return and rank them accordingly. Select. Pick the top 20 performers. Exclude illiquid stocks for those below 500 crore market cap. And finally, rebalance every one to three months. So this is how you would create a strategy. Buy top 50 stocks in Nifty 500, ranked by 12 months return, rebalance quarterly. In momentum, isn't risk-free. Momentum crashes. When market reverses, suddenly momentum portfolio falls hard. Example, March 2020, COVID crash. Sector concentration. Sometimes momentum gets crowded in one to two sectors. In 2021, IT stocks dominated. In 2023, PSU stocks dominated. We also need to reduce the number of turnovers. Frequent rebalancing increases cost. So how do you manage these risks? So there are various ways of doing it. Number one is putting volatility filters. Avoid stocks with extreme volatility. Sectoral caps limit exposure to maximum 25% per sector. We can put liquidity filters, trade only in high volume stocks to reduce slippage. Finally, use a dynamic horizon. Use multiple lookbacks like 3 months, 6 months, 12 months to avoid chasing just the short term noise. An advanced strategy would look something like this. Don't rely on a single look back window. Blend short term, long term signals together. Apply bubble indicator to detect overheated rallies and reduce exposure before momentum crashes. Rebalance portfolio with optimized turnover. So these are some of the ways to do it. Let's take some case studies. Number one is PSU banks in 2021 and 2022. Once ignored, they started showing strong momentum. A simple six month return filter picked SPI, Bank of Baroda, Canara early before the story was widely accepted. Number two case study is around defense stocks in 2022 and 2023. HL, Beal, Bharat Dynamics, all of them showed multi-quarter rallies. Price plus volume signals gave early entry. 
even before order book announced hit the market. IT sector 2020-2021, post-COVID IT services saw strong inflows. A momentum model captured Infosys, TCS, HCL early, riding the uptrend till late 2021. Momentum works in India because our markets are trend driven and if required, discipline and rules, otherwise you risk chasing the top too late. So remember, rank stocks by returns, filter for liquidity and volatility, rebalance periodically, control sectoral concentration, got the momentum of quant investing yet? Comment with yes if you had known this strategy. Comment with helpful if you got to know something new today. See you in the fifth video soon where we will look at the other side of the coin, value and quality investing in India, why cheap stocks are not always good and how to avoid value traps. And don't share this video and secret strategies with anyone. See you soon.